Hi everybody, my name's Timmy, and welcome to episode 13 of Cardano Ecosystem News. Today is December 15th, 2021, and we have a ton of different stories for you today. I think today might be the busiest episode we've ever done. We have four different stories for you today. So first, we're going to talk about ADA Handles. Now, we've been waiting to talk about this project for a while, but the time is finally here. On Friday, in just a few hours from now, they're going to make their platform available. You're going to be able to buy your own easy-to-use ADA address. No longer will you need these 40, 50 character addresses. You can buy your own address, just like buying a domain name in a way. We'll tell you all about it. ADA Handles is our first story today. Our second story, though, is another visit of Pavia. These guys, they released so many updates, and just in the last 24, 36 hours, there have been a ton of really good updates. We can actually see the full Pavia map now. We're going to walk you through it. But there's also uh, messaging between parcels. You can upload images for single parcels, not just the states. And and there's tons more uh, that I can't even mention right now. We're going to walk you through all the updates. From there, it just gets even more. CNFT.io have now announced support for smart contracts. This is one that we've been waiting for for a long, long time. This means now when you buy NFTs on CNFT.io using smart contracts, you can get the asset right away. When you're selling NFTs on CNFT.io, you don't have to keep checking and checking to see if someone bought it and now you have to manually send it to them. Those days are gone. Smart contracts make this all automated and it's on the blockchain. It's super cool. We want to share this big update with you. And then finally, we have a little bit of bonus content at the end. It's just a short story, just uh, maybe a minute or two long, uh, but that's at the end. Just something fun that we saw um, that's maybe a little relevant to the holidays, uh, but something that just gives me even more encouragement about the Cardano ecosystem. So that's the plan for today, guys. Four stories, lots to go through. So we'll see you on the flip side. And remember to like and subscribe so I don't die. Our first story today is an introduction to Ada Handle. Uh, You can visit their website at adahandle.com. And they've also got a Twitter feed just at Ada Handle. And there's big news uh, from the team uh, earlier this week. It actually looks like Tomorrow, depending on your time zone, Friday the 17th is going to be the official launch of Ada Handle. So they have Friday the 17th UTC, which will be Thursday for anyone in North or or Central or South America. So, you know, maybe 24, 36 hours from now, they're going to launch and you'll be able to buy your own Ada Handle. And so we'll tell you why you might want to do this now and share a little bit more information about the project and some big partnerships that they have. But the, the, the big news today that we've been waiting for is December 17th UTC, you're actually going to be able to start buying these. And so what are Ada Handles? You're probably wondering. They've got a beautiful website here, very simple, very clean, and they describe uh, handles as an NFT powered naming solution for your Cardano wallet address. It's basically an easier name instead of the really long addresses that you have for your Cardano wallets right now. So they've got a couple examples here. If your first name is Jesse, you might want to buy the handle Jesse, dollar sign Jesse, or maybe dollar sign Tanya. And in, and the way this works is if you ever want someone to send you money, instead of sending them a really long address with like 40 or 50 characters, you can just send them dollar sign Jesse or dollar sign John. And you'll also be able to use it uh, to integrate with a bunch of partners. We'll tell you about that first, but one of the, the big partners is some of the wallets. And so they've announced a big partnership with NAMI Wallet, which is a very popular wallet, just taking off. And they've got a video here showing what that'll look like. This is someone sending money. And traditionally, they would have to type in this really long uh, Cardano address. And this is just a small sample of it. The dot, dot, dot here is actually uh, more of the address. Just You can't memorize these. Uh, but instead, now, you can just type in the ADA handle. Watch him. Dollar. Calvin, one, and that's it. No more random generated strings. It's something easy, something that's easy to remember and easy to tell people about. So you can imagine if you're Calvin, you could be on the street, uh, you could be at a a birthday party, you could be anywhere, and you might want to tell people to send you ADA. You can just tell them spontaneously, send it to dollar Calvin one. Or if you want to give a gift to someone and you don't know what their really long address is, you can just tell people, send ADA to dollar sign 
Jim, if their name is Jim. Uh, if you know that their handle is Jim, then you can easily tell people uh, their, their wallet address by just saying the word Jim or Calvin or John. Uh, so it's very easy to tell people your wallet address this way. And so the rest of the process is, is just the way you would normally send ADA. Uh, but the big change here is he just typed in uh, $Calvin1 instead of having to copy paste or have a weird QR code for one of these long addresses. Really, really cool. And so back to their website, they've got a little bit more information on here about their partners. I just showed you NAMI Wallet, but they're also partnering with a bunch of DeFi solutions. They've partnered with Maladex. Uh, they've partnered with Coty. Uh, they announced that just a few hours ago, 11 hours ago, they partnered with Coty, a big DeFi uh, platform coming to Cardano. And they've got a partnership with Sunday Swap. And so Sunday Swap supports ADA handles. And you can see at the top here, it's just got dollar sign and Frank. Uh, so this is one that someone named Frank probably purchased. Uh, and so uh, here's a video showing uh, what an integration might look like on Sunday Swap. And you might remember if you've done the test net, you can choose a wallet. And then they're thinking there'll be this cool interface where you can actually get an ADA handle as part of the onboarding process. So if this is the way they're going to integrate with Sunday Swap, ADA handles are going to be really, really big. Uh, so that's super cool. Now let's jump back to their website one more time. They've got a really good explanation of how this works. And so basically the idea is when you purchase an ADA handle, let's say if I purchase dollar Timmy, uh, if I purchase dollar Timmy, then I'm going to get an NFT sent to me and that NFT will identify that I'm the owner of dollar Timmy. And then all the other wallets and all the other applications, they're able to search on the blockchain. They can, it's a public blockchain, Cardano. They can search all the Cardano addresses and see who has an NFT with the word Timmy in it. And when they see that that's in my wallet, then they can just send the money to that wallet address. Okay, so the way it works is uh, we, the apps will be able to scan the blockchain and see who owns a particular NFT, what wallet address that NFT lives in, and then they could send the money to that NFT uh, wallet address. And so that's how the, the aliasing works. One really cool thing that makes this better than uh, Ethereum handles or, or handles on other blockchains is this is all done on layer one. As I mentioned, this is on Cardano's blockchain. There's no third party server or service needed here. There's no um, centralization that can shut it down or that can take your address away. Once you purchase the NFT, it's stored on the Cardano blockchain in your wallet and it's yours. Nobody can take that away from you so long as you own your wallet's private keys. Very, very cool. They don't require smart contracts. And so there's no weird programming or, or anything like that that can make it break. It's just simply sending an NFT to a wallet's address. And that NFT sitting in that wallet acts as a marker. And then other people can look for that NFT and send to that wallet address. Very, very cool. They've also got a bunch of information here that um, they're, they're, they're going to be setting up a DAO, a distributed autonomous organization. So basically, they'll be setting up like this governance body that, that you and I and other people can participate in and, and we can vote on changes to the protocol. Uh, they've got a lot of ideas on how to use this system to do more than just uh, what they have today. A lot of cool uh, augmentation feature upgrades. And so they're going to set up a way for the community to decide uh, what the future is for the roadmap. So that's very cool. A DAO, uh, it's right there on layer one, um, and it's totally open, and, and it's reliable and trustable for that reason. Um, and so you can think of this as like a domain registry, uh, like if you've used GoDaddy or, or whatever you use to purchase your web domains, except when you do that, there's all kinds of central servers involved, ICANN and, and the domain company itself. But here, you're doing it completely on the Cardano blockchain. And so that's a really, really beautiful implementation. So you can check out their website, adahandle.com. They've also got a really good FAQ on here, really good information about how does it work. Basically, they say each handle you purchase will be delivered to you as an NFT. And whatever wallet holds that NFT is where payments will be routed. So the NFT sits in your wallet as a marker. And whatever wallet holds a particular NFT, that's how we know where to send the money to. Um, and so they've got some examples of the new addresses, like dollar custom name. This could be dollar Frank or dollar Jim. And then the old addresses. So you used to have to copy paste this. Now you can just give them this dollar sign your name. Okay. And then uh, they've got some other info around like how can I make the name? It can use any letter or any number. 
and then you can have dash, underscore, or period, and it's not case sensitive, okay? So everything gets converted to lowercase. So there won't be someone with like Frank with a capital F and Frank with a bottom F that go to different people, no. Just there's only gonna be one Frank, F-R-A-N-K, and it doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase, it goes to the same, uh, the same wallet. Um, they've got some ideas of how they're gonna do pricing, and it's based on how long the name is. And so if you wanna get something that's at least eight characters long, it'll only cost $10 worth of ADA, it looks like they're saying here. Um, I'm, I'm not sure yet if it's $10 worth of ADA or 10 ADA. My, my guess is actually this might be just 10 ADA. That's probably what they'll do. Um, and then if you have a shorter one, something that's just four or seven characters, it looks like it'll be 50 ADA um, and so on and so on. And so maybe um, you can do your first name and last name or maybe your first initial and last name. And if you make it at least four characters long, it's just gonna be 50 ADA, which is not different from some of the domain names. And then uh, if you have a longer one, just 10, 10 ADA. There's going to be some that are really, really short. Uh, so if there's some that are only two characters long, those will be 500 ADA. So, so really good information there. One, one difference from domains is when you purchase a domain, you have to renew it every year. You have to pay you know, $10 a year or $50 a year. If it's a .io domain, you have to pay $75 a year. Uh, so domains, you have to pay every year. But for these NFTs, for these handles, no. Once you buy the NFT, it's in your wallet, and you don't have to pay anything else. Forever, it's yours, and no one can take it. You own it. So that's very cool. That's very different from domains uh, where you don't own it, and you have to pay every year. Uh, you really just kind of lease it or license it, but not with Ada Handles. Here, you own it. It's yours. Um, so really cool stuff. One main thing to know is December uh, 17th UTC. You should be able to come here to the Ada Handle website or visit their Twitter, and you'll be able to purchase your Ada Handle. Uh, they have a link here to the beta sale. It says it's just coming soon, uh, but I think you know they've announced that they're going to do their actual launch here uh, on December 17th. So really exciting stuff. We've been waiting to share this with you, but we wanted to get a better sense on, on when they're actually going to uh, make it available, and the time is now. So start thinking about what kind of uh, ADA handle you'd like, and, and uh, yeah, very cool for the Cardano blockchain. Now, our second story today is another huge bunch of updates from the Pavia team. Now, this is quickly becoming one of our favorite projects, and Pavia is one of Cardano's leading, I mean, some would say it is the leading uh, metaverse on Cardano right now. And the Pavia team has had a ton of updates in the last 24 hours, the last 48 hours, some really important updates we want to share with you. But first, a reminder, we shared with you, this with you a couple days ago. The team is giving away free Pavia tokens to anyone that owns Pavia land parcels. And so this is going to happen on Friday the 17th. On the morning of Friday the 17th UTC time, they've actually said between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. UTC time on Friday the 17th, they're going to take a snapshot of the Cardano blockchain. And so what that means is they're going to look at all of the Cardano wallets uh, on Cardano, and they're going to see who has an NFT, who has a Pavia land parcel sitting there in their Cardano wallet. And uh, everyone that has uh, Pavia land in their wallets will be given free Pavia tokens. Now, they might not give away the tokens on Friday the 17th. They might do it a few days later, maybe a few weeks later. But they're going to do it based on who has Pavia land sitting in their Cardano wallet uh, on Friday the 17th. Now, if you're living in North America or South America, Central America, this is Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. And so you're really going to want to do this as, as soon as you can. Just make sure your land parcel is sitting in your wallet. I'm going to leave mine there until, you know, Saturday or Sunday at least. I mean, I'll probably just leave mine there, you know, for a few months, if not a few years. Um, but make sure it's there for the next little while so that whenever they do this snapshot, they'll see that you own some of those NFTs. Now, that's not even the big update for today. The real big update for today is, bada boom, we have the full Pavia map available. You can actually go to map.pavia.io and see the full map here. And there's a ton of new functionality on this map that we're gonna walk you through, some really cool stuff. You can actually see the chat bubble over here. We're gonna walk you through what the chat system is like. It's available now. But first, just look at this map in all its glory. Wow, look at the great oceans bordering the universe. 
bordering the metaverse, I should say. Um, and look at this cool, like, geographic formations here, these inlets, these peninsulas, huge, huge beach over here. I know uh, Army of Spies, I'm a big fan of that channel. They're working on a spy beach. Uh, they haven't said where it is, but they, they purchased in the first sale. So, you know, maybe somewhere over here, or over here is Spy Beach. But maybe you can create your own beach somewhere over here. Imagine owning one of these plots, the, the three easternmost Pavia plots. That's a really cool feature, the edge of the metaverse. Or you could own these, these two plots up here I was looking at. This is the western edge of the Pavia metaverse, the end of the world uh, right there. So you can see now what the full world is. There's this really cool river that goes all the way through. Just amazing stuff. Another river down here into the south, into the mountains. They've got portals here you can see now in each of the corners. So that's going to make it a lot easier to move around the metaverse and jump around. But look at this too. They have this really cool, um, uh, not this one, this one here, this really cool Tetris looking piece here uh, in the eastern area of the map here. It looks like a mirrored Tetris piece or uh, a factory maybe with a smokestack. I don't know. Maybe it's a hand pointing. But, you know, what do you guys think this might be? I mean... The factory smokestack would be like on a 2D view, but this is this is 3D land here, and so this is a huge amount of land. What could that be? Uh, any guesses? Anyone want to take a guess in the comment section? I'd love to hear from you what you think this kind of Tetris-looking piece over here might be. Remember, they had the spaceship over here, uh, sorry, the stadium over here, and the launch pad over here. And so uh, this says under construction, a little bit of mystery from the Pavia team, these guys. Okay, so this is the full map. Now, if I turn on the estates, you can see everything that's been sold so far. Everything where you see a lot of these images, this huge kind of square area in the middle, that was the first and second land sale. And then the third land sale is going to be this area here on the edge. There's a bunch on the leftern edge and a bunch on the right kind of eastern edge and western edge here. And it's about 40,000 land parcels. So this whole uh, middle area is 60,000 and then They've said there's 40,000 more coming on the edge, and they've said that's the end. They said this is the full metaverse map. It certainly looks that way geographically. Um, so uh, they've said the 40,000 are going to be sold in January, February, or March. And so if you haven't bought any yet, you can wait until then, or you can buy some on you know some of these marketplaces, cnft.io, tokun.io, t-o-k-h-u-n.io. Um, and so... You can buy some maybe ahead of the airdrop that's happening, you know, on Friday morning UTC and maybe get some free uh, Pavia tokens. But, um, yeah, we know that these are going to go on sale, we think, January, February, or March. Now, there's a bunch of cool functionality also that they added. I think I showed you the Christmas layer last time. That's just a, a fun little thing, uh, Santa and some reindeer there. <clears throat> but what you're going to want to do, actually, is to log in. There's a login button here at the top right. I've already gone ahead and done it. If you log in, you can enter your email and they're just going to send you a random password. They're not going to ask you for, to create a password. They're going to send you a random, I think seven or eight digit password. And then you can enter that to log in. And then if you click the My Profile tab here on the left, you can enter in one of your wallet's receiving addresses. These are public addresses that you give anyone when you want to receive money. You can enter that receiving address here under My Profile. And then what will happen is they'll be able to show you on the map where your land parcels are. And so mine are over here on the west. Let me zoom in a bit. And I can click Find My Land Parcels because I've already hooked up my address under My Profile. Um, and so when I click Find My Land Parcels, they show them there. If I zoom in, uh, you can see these two here and then the other one here by the river. Um, and so that's where I want to kind of do some cool stuff in the metaverse. But if you take a look here, if I zoom in to this top one, what happens when you click here? There's Timmy. This is a picture I took this morning, actually. Sorry for the messy hair. But uh, I uploaded a picture here. And so it's not an estate, but I can still upload a picture to identify myself. And you can do that as well. If you own a single land parcel, you can click your land parcel, click this button, add image to land. And it's not, it's not going to show up on the map, but if someone clicks your parcel, they'll be able to see your image here. But check this out. There's a lot more happening here. I also have my Twitter handle there. It's at Cardano Eco News. That's the Twitter handle for the channel. Uh, feel free to follow us if you like Twitter. Uh, we put our episode updates there. But I can add my Twitter handle or my Discord handle. The way to do that is also in the My Profile tab. So if you go to My Profile and click that, I won't do it right now, but you can do that. Click My Profile once you log in. You can add your Twitter handle or your Discord chat handle. Now, why would you want to do that? 
Well, if people can know what your Twitter or Discord username is, they can contact you and, and make offers to buy your land. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's say uh, someone here owned like these eight parcels and they just needed this one corner piece to make an estate. Well, they might want to be able to contact me and say, hey, I really just need this land parcel. Do, can we trade or do, is there, you know, can I buy it from you? And so people being able to contact you via Twitter or Discord is going to make that a lot easier. But hold on. You might be wondering, what's this chat bubble here and this other one down there? Well, you can click the chat bubble on someone and directly message them on the Pavia platform. So if I click around, I can see a lot of these people haven't added their info, but actually this parcel right above mine, I'm going to put him on, on, uh, on public blast here, but it actually might do him a favor. I clicked it and I saw it's Ubiverse. So he's got his or her Discord and Twitter handle here, and I can click this chat button and send them a message. And I did that a little bit earlier. I sent them a message. I said, hi from Cardano Ecosystem News. This is Timmy from YouTube. Uh, so I sent that 50 minutes, eight minutes ago as I was testing. And so that's how it works. You can, you can send messages here. You can put emoticons, um, very, very cool stuff. And you can talk about maybe doing trades together. Or, you know, this person here, Ubiverse, is right north to me. Maybe I can message him and we can meet. Maybe, you know, maybe he wants to or she uh, or they want to, to hold on to that plot. But we can actually kind of use them together. Maybe uh, you and friends can each own different plots, but you can use uh, in-game communication and do events together in Pavia via the chatting. So definitely check out this chat bubble. You'll see that um, every every uh, wallet here has like a randomly generated name too. Solid Tortoise. Um, you know, I can click here. Uh, guttural Salt. <laughs> uh, you know, Mellow Rhino. And so my, my name here on the platform was just set to Amused Viper. Um, so that's just a random one, but it makes it easy when you're in the chat here okay solid tortoise yeah sure he's the he's the owner or she or they um, are the owner of this one that's north of me uh, so that's very cool you can now chat to people in game and this is gonna make the economics this is gonna make the marketplace mechanics really explode now more people can contact you to do interesting bartering interesting trading um, so that's super super cool uh, based on um, the in-game messaging and so I wanted to show you that. I wanted to talk about how you can add your, your handles. I wanted to show you the full map, but that's not all. There's even more that we can do. Take a look at what Cardano Kitchen has been working on. They just released another uh, land parcel model. This might be in a state size, it's so big. This is a concept for what Cardano Kitchen might want to do. And look at what's going on here. It's almost like a tribute to Cardano NFTs overall and Cardano projects. They've got some Sundays here. They've got some like rocket ship, maybe some Space Buds imagery there. Um, so much going on. CNFT up here, Cardano Kitchen, of course. Now, Cardano Kids over here. Really, really cool. Hosky there, the Hosky meme coin for Cardano. So this is kind of a concept that Cardano Kitchen is doing. Can you imagine walking through here and maybe having 10 or 20 of us outside, a bunch of people in the diner? I think this looks like a movie theater maybe on the top floor. Amazing, amazing stuff. And they've actually made a video of it. I want to go ahead and show you that video right now. Pavia Cribs. Wow, look at that. Zooming in on, on the Cardano Kids. Sunday Swap. Very nice work. Bees. I mean, I think there's a lot of Cardano projects they're showing off here that, I, that I'm not even aware of yet. Um, just really, really cool stuff. And that's not all. There's another update. This one from, from Rydos, actually. Rydos is one of the moderators inside of the Pavia Discord. And they've been really helpful to me uh, as I've been preparing for episodes. So big shout out to Rydos. But they also did this avatar of Charles Hoskinson. So this was done using readyplayer.me. This is going to be the avatar creation system uh, inside of Pavia. Uh, and so they've created one that is pretty close to actually Charles. And they've invited Charles to, to maybe play using this avatar 
avatar, but also to give an estate to Charles. So that'd be pretty cool. Imagine uh, logging into Pavia and seeing Charles walking around with his avatar, or, or maybe visiting Charles's ranch, right, as a as a Pavia estate. So big shout out to Rydos. Really good job getting that. You know, he's got the glasses and the beard there. Um, and and thanks for your help, Rydos, with the channel. There's another person I need to give a shout out to. That's Dogmatic Psych. If you guys are in the Pavia Discord, uh, Dogmatic Psych has helped me prepare for videos. Very knowledgeable person. Uh, he's been involved in the comments on some of the videos and helped uh, to give some answers to uh, some of you and, and some of me. And so big shout out to Rydos, Dogmatic Psych, for, for uh, giving us that Pavia information that we love. So tons of stuff today. The full Pavia map. I showed you how to upload uh, images onto your parcels. I showed you how to message other users. Uh, I showed you how to add your Twitter and Discord profiles. Uh, just tons of stuff out of the Pavia team. And then um, big heads up, there's going to be a snapshot. You're going to want to have your parcels sitting in your wallet uh, by Friday the 17th UTC time. Very, very cool. Wow, look at that. Let's get the estates on there. And let's get Santa Claus back. There he goes. Jeez. And if that wasn't already enough, there's more big news released in just the last 24 hours. This one from CNFT, cnft.io, one of the, the largest, if not the largest, Cardano NFT marketplace. And they've announced that they've just added support for smart contracts. This is a game changer for buying and selling NFTs on cnft.io. It means you can buy and pay and instantly get the NFT. Before, it was kind of this eBay kind of marketplace where you would agree to pay an amount and then you'd have to wait for the seller to send you send you the actual NFT and it, it could have taken a few days and it was just not the greatest experience. But now, with smart contracts, it's instant and it's done kind of independently of cnft.io. They, they list the smart contracts, but it's all happening on the blockchain super transparently and you know it this is probably how i think a lot of people are going to be buying nfts uh on cnft.io and so this is a big update they've added a bunch of really useful information on their website um they've got an article here about how to list if you want to sell an nft using smart contracts and they've got some um some beautiful screenshots of how to do that on their platform you can just uh go into your list of nfts on cnft.io click smart contract here the button there and then it'll walk you through uh on the nami wall it, how to actually create the smart contracts. It looks really, really simple. It costs a bond of about 180, uh, 1.80 ADA, but you get that back uh, as soon as uh, the buyer purchases it or if you if you cancel the contract. And so pretty low fees, but the really amazing thing here is the transactions are lightning fast. They're, they're pretty much instant. As soon as a buyer pays, they'll get the NFT, you'll get the money. It's just really beautiful. You don't have to regularly check your account to see if someone has, has purchased it and, and now you have to send them. It's all done for you automatically. So this is an article here on cnft.io around how to list. And then they've also got a, a really beautiful one on, on how to buy. Basically, when you're shopping on cnft.io, if you see anything with a lightning bolt, that's a smart contract NFT. And you can actually go and search for Pavia right now and see if there's any Pavia smart contract NFTs. There might not be because many of the Pavia landowners, they want their, their, their land and parcels in their wallet, not in a smart contract. I think because of the airdrop happening in a few hours. Once the airdrop is done on Saturday or Sunday, you're probably going to see a ton of lightning bolt Pavia land parcels for sale on cnft.io. Um, but for now, you'll see tons of other really cool NFT projects here with the the lightning bolt, and those are smart contract listings. And, and if you buy that way, you'll get the asset right away. It's super nice. And there might be some Pavia ones. And and if you do see a Pavia one with a lightning bolt, it, it, I think you that means you should be able to get the asset right away. And if you're watching this video on Wednesday or Thursday morning afternoon, uh, if it's not 9 a.m. UTC on the 17th yet, uh, then you know you, you might even be able to get some Pavia NFTs in time for the um, the, sna the snapshot happening Friday morning. So. So anyhow, you see the lightning bolt, you click it, and then when you come here, there'll be a button here that says Instant Buy with NAMI. NAMI Wallet right now is the only supported wallet uh, to do this mo most elegantly. And so you're gonna wanna have NAMI Wallet to do this uh, the easiest way. And they've got some really good information in this article, but it's really just, you know, click, click, and you're done. Click, click there. NAMI will ask you, uh, are you sure you wanna send the money to this smart contract? And then uh, once it's done, you should get your asset. Uh, so 
Very, very cool. This really is a game changer for buying NFTs on Cardano. Um, this is big, big news. Really huge shout out to CNFT for, for helping all of us in the Cardano community. We needed this one. Finally, as some bonus content, I really wanted to show you this tweet that came by uh, my Twitter feed. It's from Patrick Tobler, and he, he says, am I really booking a flight with Ada? Is this real life? And he's, he uh, references Travalicom here. And check this out. He's, he's actually paying for a flight using Ada. You can use Ada now to buy flights. And I, and I mention it because, you know, it's, it's the holiday season and, you know, I imagine there'll be some people traveling. Maybe you've already paid for trips or maybe now you're thinking, hey, I can use my staking rewards or I can use some of this ADA maybe uh, to pay for a flight. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my ADA. I've got, you know, my, my army of spies, lobster claw, uh, super tight. Um, so I won't, I, I won't be using it for flights yet, but maybe, maybe staking rewards, you know, maybe staking rewards. This is from Travala.com. I checked out their, their web website and their Twitter. Um, they've got a bunch of Bitcoin or, uh, and other cryptocurrencies on here that you can pay with. So, so definitely check it out uh, if you're interested. Um, they've got all kinds of different cryptos that you can pay with here, but, but one of them is ADA, Cardano ADA uh, to pay for flights. How cool is that? ADA is starting to take off. I'm just so excited for this, this blockchain and, and for all of us uh, and, uh, who are in the community. Very cool. Patrick, thanks for sharing. You're a legend.